Oh, new Spider-Man meets such interesting people. It's wonderful to represent the press. Val is being honored with the Winnipeg Press Club President's Award for someone who made a difference. And it's a, it's a true sign of the high regard that all Manitobans hold Val in that the Premier has been able to join us. I always found that the stuff that he wrote lifted me up. He always gave me some inspiration. Whether it was a social justice issue, whether it was an environmental issue, Lake Winnipeg issue, just how to be a better person. Uh, as you read Val Warrior, you always came away with sort of some things that you can do better in your own life. And I don't think there's any greater compliment you can make to somebody than if they make you want to be a better person. It's hard to think of anyone more deserving of this recognition. He did his first work for the Winnipeg Tribune in 1938. Now I'm going to repeat that, just in case you think you didn't hear right. 1938. 74 years ago. In his early days with the Tribune, Val was a freelancer. He used to hang around the reception desk at the Royal Alex to see who was coming into town so he could get stories or interviews. He got on full time in 1941 and then took a few years off during the Second World War to serve as a navigator in the Royal Canadian Air Force. Now, flying bombing missions over Germany wasn't the best way to ensure your own survival. But Val came home and jumped back into a fearless career in which it is said he did every editorial job there is in a daily newspaper. Val has the perfect combination for a journalist, a mix of curiosity, compassion, and dedication. Val crusaded for the less fortunate and threatened, whether they were people or trees. He took on the highest authorities in Manitoba when justice was on his side. In 1954, Val brought to the public's attention the work of Beatrice St. Amant, who was struggling to look after children with epilepsy and developmental disabilities in a farmhouse near Transcona. The Premier of the day, Douglas Campbell, accused Val of sensationalism. So you know that's not a new accusation to be leveled against journalists. So Val began his next call with these words. I challenge Premier D. Nell Campbell to prove that my series of stories on the Uville Epileptic Hospital are inaccurate. Well, evidently the Premier lost that one. And Val's series led to public support for the hospital, which has grown into the St. Mont Center today. It would be impossible to list all of the individuals and causes that Val has helped with his reporting and writing over the years in both the Tribune and the Free Press. One case that is especially close to his heart is Chantal Sigalo, a 16-month-old child who 30 years ago was laid in a Winnipeg hospital and was going to die without a liver transplant. Val's stories rallied this community to raise more than $50,000 to pay for Chantal to go to Minneapolis for the transplant surgery. Val wrote extensively on heritage and the natural and physical environment long before they became popular causes. He has long championed the protection of Lake Winnipeg in particular, and in 1985 he waged a campaign to keep logging out of Cacti Park, which is still a pristine wilderness area. Through his work, Val won respect for his judgment and fairness that took him beyond journalism. He was a nominee to become Manitoba's first ombudsman. He sat on the Manitoba Law Reform Commission, and in 1994 he was appointed the first non-lawyer to become a complaints commissioner of a Canadian Law Society when he took up the position with the Law Society of Manitoba. At that time, the Global Mail published an article about him and quoted John Dafo as saying, I think Val, over a long period as a journalist, has established an integrity that very few have. Press Club's President's Award was established to recognize someone who made a difference. The President's Award ceremony provides an opportunity for family, friends, colleagues, and the public to demonstrate their appreciation for the recipient's achievements and contributions in both their private and public lives. Val's been an active member for so long that he was actually around uh, when the first one of these ceremonies was held in, uh, for the original John W. Dayful uh, back in the 1940s. So Val continues to write today, and I'm absolutely certain that he is, shall we say, uh, the most mature columnist writing in any Canadian newspaper. 
His work is as fresh and relevant as ever. Just this week in the Free Press, he gently, and I really mean gently, chastised his own profession for presenting a distorted view of reality by focusing on catastrophes, crimes, and other awful things, when in fact the world around us is filled with generous people doing good things. Now I'm going to give the last word to one of Mal's readers because after all, everything he has written is for his readers. This one sent him a lovely letter a couple of years ago and summed up quite simply what Val has accomplished. You have touched the lives and the hearts of many Winnipeggers. Thank you for your work. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you Val Mary. Such interesting people When they know they've got a people's fight to wage Ting-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, city desk Pull the press, pull the press Extra, extra, read all about it It's a mess meets the test